will have I. Cheers, girls. Okay. Let's have a look what we got. Oh, would you believe it, folks? It's a newspaper clipping. Well, that was a nice surprise to have an urban chicken mail delivery this morning from the Chucks. Cheers. Right, I'm going to nip into work this morning. Just a few little jobs, we've got to make sure we've got cask on in the cellar because last night was a busy night and Stuart was away so we're just going to help Emma out there and I also want to check on that lid that we set on the Gorilla Glue yesterday and then we're going to go and visit a garden centre called Darfuls in Worksop and we're going to pick up some tomatoes for the back garden I think some really nice little sweet gardener's delight style I reckon. Right, let's have a look if uh, we've got any beer on. Oh, that's completely ice Yeah, I defrosted it yesterday. Shall I just set it to heat? It looks like there's quite a bit of beer. It looks like that one's gone. It looks like that one's gone. That one's gone. The three have gone. Right, let's go and get some beer. We are in the unit. Shooting some b-ball outside of school. Right then. Here is the... Let's get some light on the situation. Here is the rest of the lids. So we're going to swap one of these over today. I need to put a central hole in there. Central hole in one of those. Weld on an RJT fit in, then glue. And that's my job done. So we need to be gone for about one-ish. So I better just crack on. But first, let's see how we did with the Gorilla Glue. It's to be interesting. It's had about 24 hours to set. Ugh. Oh yeah. That's freaking solid. Let's take it in the shop. Yeah. So looking at this, It would appear it's gone off solid as a rock. And it is about as flat as you could ever hope it to be. Aha! We have a one section here which is just a little bit raised. I can squish it. Yeah, and I can pull it away. So in terms of grabbing, I can pull it off. But it looks pretty good for now. So I think what we'll do is, yeah, do this on the rest of them. cut out for the RJT fittings to go on top and one thing I did learn about using carbide drill bits on Dremel is uh, yeah don't touch 
the carbide drill bit after you've just been grinding stainless steel. There's a distinct smell of crackling in the air. I managed to do that with no back purge and if we look in there no coking on the back either so very slow as you can see constantly turning turning the bit over here, a bit over there, a bit down here, a bit up there very nicely done we've got that lid finished and the second one is gluing up right now look at this that's foaming more than the last time but I've had to prop it because unfortunately it keeps slipping from one side to the next. Pain in the arse. Right, I've got a few more minutes to kill. So I've strapped up this boil kettle here and I'm working on putting a steel band around the centre. I'll put it over these screws because it's a nice, a nice height. Not necessarily to hide the screws because the screws aren't, to be honest, that visible. But I put the screws in the centre, so if it falls there, it's, uh, it's, no, it's no mistake. So here we've got the two bands of steel that I cut previously for exactly this job. So if I measure them, well, that's two metres, and that one's going to be one metre after I've chopped it in half. So quite frankly, that's not bad. Because I can get two sheets out of it. I'm not going to cut this one in half because it's a two metre length. Instead I'm going to go and cut a one metre length off a smaller piece of steel. Because I've got lots of smaller pieces of steel. And then there's less welds on the next one. fiddly for one man to do but I think I've just about managed it so uh, we've got the band on and I'm just about to pop the bolts together a little bit oh we're in one man band there we go so I'll just get this piece of string out of the way. Maybe shouldn't have threaded it through the hole, but there we go, it'll come out. It will come out. And then the plan is that little leaf goes behind that leaf. If I zoom right in, that bit goes behind there. As we tighten it up, we uh, begin to put stress on the band and uh, we've got stainless steel hoop on then. That's a cracking method I reckon for putting that band on there. So I'm just going to get the tape measure out now, make sure the height of this to the top of the tank is the same all the way around and then we're going to put some torque on this and see if we can't close it up. It's already pretty compressed because I've obviously got the strap on here and we've tightened the ratchet strap up to bring the bring the timber in a little bit anyway. Right, just got to get the old uh, the nut fuckers on here and tighten the bad boys up. She's working. She looks really good. She looks like really good. Now it's got a band around it. I'm dead chuffed. Right, the mechanism works. I must say though that these stainless steel bolts aren't very good. Don't know if you can see down in there, the thread's cracked. So it's these 
Specialist Easy Fix bolts, nuts and washers. Uh, I think it's A2 stainless. I don't recommend them. They're from Screw Fix or Tool Station, one of the two. The trouble is, you put any heat into them, you over tighten them, they, uh, they, they bind up and I think they're cold welding and then obviously snapping threads. You can see I've already had issues with a couple of these. If you look at how dark they've gone on the tips, because I couldn't wind the bolt off. So I think I'm going to stick with the galf nuts and bolts for now. Well that's all she wrote for today at work. I got a lot more done than I thought I would if I'm honest. The band, the lids and uh, it's just hit three o'clock. So I guess this is the time I leave anyway on a regular day. So it's no bad. Does that band look wonky to you? It does to me. I've measured it, it's so level. Sometimes it's better just to eyeball something than it is to actually put a tape measure or a level on it. Just so it looks more aesthetically pleasing. Right, stop stealing sweets and pop, you. Yes, you. Stop stealing them sweets and pop. Are we gonna go to the garden center, Abby? Yeah. Let's go and get some marto plants. Tomatoes. Tomatoes and tomatoes and tomatoes. Uh, Abigail's tomatoes, which I think is like Gardener's Delight style. Not them ones. You like the small sweet ones, don't you? Very high yield. Well, let's get one or two. Let's get two of these ones, Tumbling Toms. They cascade. So they might grow off the side of the wall. They're yellow tomatoes, or do you want red ones? Because they're the same variety, but red. They're sweet as well, but they're red. You are in the... Yeah, one of each. Okay. Big red. Hey. You want a big red? Yeah. I have three. Yeah, look at all the peppers. Even look at this side. And then all the baby tomatoes. There's gazillions, did you say? Alliums. Alliums? No, they're not alliums. Alliums are onions. Go and find some spicy chili peppers. 